Hello everyone, welcome to part 16 of React JS tutorial with Laravel for beginners. Uh, so in this video, we are going to work on the user logout functionality from the React app. Okay, so the user will log out and uh, user will log in again. And I want to show you, uh, like uh, this is the thing that we have done so far. And you can see the login register links are here. So every time when user logged in, uh, we need to uh, we need to disable some of the links and we need to enable some of the links okay so that also we are going to do and after login we will show the username as well like the welcome username and we are going to add here logout logout link so we are going to do the functionality for the user logout as well okay so a few of the things we are going to do in this video for our react app okay so a uh, user can log in from here also and user can log in from the website also like i have explained you earlier user can log in or register from here also or user can log in and register from here also okay so one and the same thing okay so now now we are going to see the users that are already registered and we are going to log in with one of the users like uh, this john uh, to at the rate of yahoo.com i will try to log in with this user and here i'm going to log in with this user and we'll see uh, see we able to log in but but here you can see uh the register and login links are still there but it is wrong we need to disable these links and instead of these links we will show the account link uh, as well as the logout link like we used to do here see if we will log in here uh the same user from the website uh, we are going to log in the same user from the website now and you are going to see one two three four five six okay so same user we are logging from the website and here you can see uh we logged in now and you can see there is no login register link there is the logout link and the my account link so in the same way we are going to do the same thing for the react app as well okay so every time if you do something in react app do open your website as well so that you can work on your react app side by side and here also keep checking your layout in the for the react app for the mobile version because it will look like this for the mobile version it will look like this okay so these are these things because we are making this uh, react app for the mobile so you need to uh, uh, make sure that uh, it is full responsive okay so now uh, we are going to create the first of all the login component okay uh, so i'm going to open my visual studio uh, this is my project so i'm going to add one new file here we'll add uh, one component logout logout component logout.js okay to make the feature for the logout we need to uh, create, create the logout component inside the components folder and after that uh, we will create one uh, uh, that arrow function r a f c is the shortcut of creating the rect arrow function component and we can simply create it like this okay so make sure that you will add this in the app.js file we need to import this one in the uh, app.js file every component that you will add in rect so make sure to add it in the app.js otherwise it will not work at all okay so here we will make it logout and it's in component you can see it's in components folder so we need to give the path like this and also we will define its route as well and same like we have done so we are going to uh, make the route as the logout okay here we are going to add here uh, slash logout okay and uh, link we are going to add as caps in caps logout okay this one so after making these changes uh, then uh, we will come to the nav bar in which we have added all the links and here we are going to add one more link here uh, so what we are going to do see there are two links you can see the login and register uh, there are two links and two more links we are going to add here and that links we can add one is the logout link and the another one is the uh, account link we can add the account link as well okay along with the logout link we will add the account link so what we can do here uh, we are going to add the two links before here okay here i am going to add one and i'm going to add the another one okay one is the account link i'm going to add one more uh, account component i'm going to add account company is already there you can see okay account uh, and another one is the logout okay here the account will come and here the logout will come okay 
so later on we will add the condition also like uh, uh, both will uh, we will able to see these two links after login and these two links before login okay so that condition we are going to add but first of all we are going to check the logout is working fine okay so it is saying that we forgot to add here export default so that is a mandatory export default uh, logout okay we need to add this one so now we can check here the logout link is there you can see and it is working fine okay so actually uh, the thing is we will add the functionality in the logout component that we will call when the user will click on logout we are not going to do like this we will redirect it to the login okay so that we are going to do but first of all uh, see every time when the user logged in we need to add the user data in the local storage of the browser okay so that is the mandatory thing that we need to do here for the rect app because uh, whenever the user logged in we will add the data in the uh, user application browser okay so we will pick from there and we will check that the user is actually logged in or not it is same thing like we used to do in cookies if you remember in php okay uh, you can also say we we used to do in uh, with the sessions as well and now we are going to do uh, here uh, like this uh, we are going to uh, save it in the uh, in the application in the browser cache okay so uh, so let's do it uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to modify the login uh, here login component here see after navigate to account see what we are going to do here uh, once we try to login we first validate it we first uh, see that email and password is incorrect if both are correct then after that we are just redirecting to the account like we have done in the previous videos okay we we first validate it and after that we are going to uh, navigate it to account see here like if i will post something in uh, in, in invalid if i will uh, try to uh, means uh, uh, try to log in with some invalid details then it will show the error message okay we need to put the correct details here okay so if we will put the correct details then we able to log in like i have shown you earlier also so here uh, we are going to put the details okay the user details but first of all we need to check that uh, we are passing the user details uh, after login user uh, what we are returning here okay uh, so I'm going to close this one. This is my test project. I'm going to open the ecom9 folder. Uh, okay. Uh, so here it is. Okay. I'm going to open this one. Uh, okay. So yeah, once again. Now I'm going to open it again. Okay. So uh, login user. And here I'm going to check uh, the login. Okay. So here see we are getting the user details here. Complete user details that i am going to uh, add it here okay user details in user details like this uh, complete user details we are going to pass okay like this okay so uh, what we are going to do we are going to now modify uh, the here and after this navigate account uh, i will write here to uh, to store this one in in cache okay we are going to add these user details in the local storage okay so here local storage will come local storage dot set item and here we are going to like we used to enter something in session we used to uh, uh, like session put uh, we use in laravel to uh, to create the session variable and enter the data in that so so in the same way uh, we will make it like user we are going to put in user what we are going to put we are going to put the result that we will get uh, we will uh, first make stringify in stringify here uh, we are going to put the result that we will get from the api okay so this is the thing that we are going to do and this one we will call first otherwise it will navigate to account page before navigating to the account page we are going to do this thing okay so here we are getting the result here you can see from the api okay so this result uh, we are just uh, encoding to json and after json uh, just we are going to put it here in the local storage so we are going to check here that it is actually going to the local storage or not whatever we send there okay uh, stringify is not fine uh, string stringify we need to check what is the issue sorry here i forgot to write the json json dot 
.csv file okay so that it will show it in the json format it will uh, put it in json format in the local storage now it must work fine okay so now we are going to put the correct details here john to edit of yahoo.com uh, john 2 and with the password 1 2 3 4 5 6 i will open the console as well so that we can inspect this in console uh, i will open the desktop view here in network so we are going to check in application i'm going to do now okay let's see let's log in so i logged in now and you can see this one in the user key and you can see the complete details is coming up here you can see here in the application in the console you can go in application you can check here complete user details is going here okay so in the user as the key here also you can able to see the complete details are going here okay so now uh, what we can do uh, after we reach the account page then uh, i will open the account here uh, okay here from here i am going to open the account and here we can show the username first of all we can show the username here in the account okay so uh, for showing the username uh, what we are going to do here uh, we will uh, show here like uh, instead of welcome user uh, first of all i am going to here enter that uh, uh, let sorry let user equal to so again json parse so we are going to use the json parse here uh, here local storage we will pick from the local storage that we have earlier entered uh, get item and we are uh, we will get from the user okay we have uh, make its name as user so now we are going to pick it in user now we have got in user and now uh, we can show here we can see here like uh, uh, user uh, dot uh, uh, it will come in user details okay so in user details name okay so let's see it will work or not see welcome john singh it is showing here you can see it is showing because we have logged in the user we have picked that uh, uh, this one we have picked this one uh, in the user uh, we can uh, call it as the object okay so from this object we can able to fetch the name okay uh, from user object then user details then name okay inside user inside user details and then name okay so we pick the name and we have shown here welcome john singh okay so one other thing that we are required to do we will uh, in nav bar we will add the condition here so that we will just show this one uh, account and logout not this one login and register okay so we will add the condition in the nav bar so what we are going to do here uh to do it like this here we are going to add the condition and in rect we need to add it like this uh first uh, i will add the curly brackets and uh, we will put this all in the curly brackets okay uh, like this so after adding it in curly brackets then uh, here we are going to add the condition like local storage uh, local storage dot get item again we will use the get item so that we can get that item that we have already stored user and with the question mark question mark will act like a if condition like okay so else will come up here okay so we are going to add here the else uh, like this and it will end it here and uh we need to add the fragmentation empty frag fragmentation uh we used to add like this okay so uh this empty fragmentations uh we need to add in rect js like this okay every time when we use some kind of condition then we need to uh work on such kind of syntax we need to write such kind of syntax okay so like this now you can see now it seems to be fine now i will go there and you can see uh login and register links are not there just account and logout links are there okay so the user can click on logout link and here then he will go to, to the logout page and but here there is no command we have given so we need to add one function there so that we will call in the logout component itself uh, so that the user will get logged out okay every time 
when the user will click on logout link then the user uh, able to log out from the app okay so that thing we need to do uh, so for that thing uh, we need to add the function here so i am going to add here the function uh, that i am going to add inside the logout here i am going to add the function function logout that i will call in this function itself okay so function logout this function i am going to call inside this logout component and in this function i am going to clear the local storage whatever uh, we have in local storage we are going to clear so that uh, uh, so that we can log out the user okay and we will navigate the user to the login page once again okay so here once you will add the uh, the navigate here you can see it automatically adds here okay import automatically gets added so we will navigate uh, the user like this okay navigate to the login page okay so this function we will call directly and i will use the use effect uh, that will help us to call any function after rendering the html okay so use effect we are going to use effect let's see that if it will automatically add you can see here it automatically adds here use effect uh, so that we can import its feature and uh, we can import its uh, classes okay uh, object and classes whatever it, it is having we can able to inherit its feature in our component and and now uh, what we are going to do uh, we are going to use it like this use effect and inside use effect uh, we are going to call that logout function this is the syntax of the use effect and in this in this we are going to call this logout function like this and and one more thing uh, that we need to add here uh, like this okay so this is the syntax that we need to write uh, make sure uh, that there is no mistake uh, i think this one is extra now it seems to be fine here navigate is not defined it is still saying the navigate is not defined uh okay so it uh, make it big okay let me add it big one sorry okay uh okay we need to uh we need to uh take it we need to define it as well navigate okay const uh navigate equal to use navigate okay so now i think it will work fine okay now we can click on logout and you can see we able to log out uh, but account is still appears we are going to check what is the issue actually here uh, because the account is, comes under this one so only the register login links must come but here uh, it is not making any kind of effect we need to see okay let's uh, let's log in once again and then we are going to check whether it will work fine or not okay so i'm going to log in with the john to at the rate of yahoo.com once again and let's see john john to one two three four five six okay let's log in uh no see it is coming name is coming but uh, links not updated but if i will refresh uh then it is updating i need to refresh then it is updating but uh, it must work automatically i need to refresh again and again only then it is working then we need to see where is the issue uh, okay let me check i think issue is coming because here also we need to call the user details he uh, we have not called the user details here uh, like uh, we have done uh, in the account okay uh, this uh, let user here uh there also we need to uh, use this one okay so uh but uh, we will let let us write okay let me write here uh here i am going to use the json stringify okay and other than that uh, we also require to navigate is also maybe required here need to check here uh, we will take the const and user equal to json dot five look 
local storage dot get item user okay so see we are going to check like uh, now it must work fine let's see uh, we are going to log in once again from the john at the rate of john dot uh, at the rate of yahoo dot com one two three four five six login uh, no still it is not working uh, it is not navigating uh, let me add here uh, const navigate as well so that we can navigate as well okay so use navigate Maybe something wrong here. Uh, local get storage. Okay, we are going to do one more thing here in account also. Uh, we will use that like let user it is fine. And here also we need to add the condition. Uh, okay, so we are going to add here the condition as well. Uh, like. The same condition we are going to add here as well uh, this one so we will only show this one if uh, there is the user details coming otherwise we will not show it uh, this one i'm going to cut uh, add with s to tag here i'm going to add okay so uh, and inside this I'm going to add uh, we are not going to do anything so I will use here null okay so now we will add this condition as well now we are going to check okay so uh, so I'm going to log out now it seems to be working fine let's see let's see if I will try to log in now and let's try with john one two three four five six and login and now it is working fine you can see account logout so you can see the links have been changed now now it is coming account and logout and it is coming it is showing welcome john singh so it is working perfectly i'm going to log out once again and you can see the register login links are appearing at the top okay so it is working fine and i'm going to log in with some other user i'm going to log in this time with the amit uh, user okay and one two three four five six okay i'm going to log in with this one and you can see the welcome amit gupta it is coming with the account and logout links and you can side by side you can log in from here also both will work fine in the website as well in the laravel 9 website as well you can able to log in if you are making the website along with the app then you can able to log in from here also one two three four five six and you can able to log in from the app also okay in both see you can see able to see in both you can able to see the account okay here also i can go in my account and you can see the amit gupta is coming with the complete information and here also in the future videos we are going to show the complete details that the user can able to update and along with that we are going to show the products as well that the user can able to buy okay so that will take time but one by one we are going to do everything for our rec tab so i hope that this is very much clear to you and if you have any queries you can surely contact me and do follow do subscribe the stack developer youtube channel if you have not subscribed yet then please subscribe it okay we are going to continue working on the laravel 9 series and laravel 10 is also going to launch in some time now and that also we are going to start and we are the first one that uh, will uh, do the practice in laravel 10 also okay so uh, do uh, subscribe and for the laravel as well as the rec series for making the website as well as apps okay Yes, and you can always join uh, to get the complete source code of the laravel websites of the direct apps okay and all the future code with the complete support you can join the channel to get it okay otherwise you can always subscribe the channel to get all the updates okay then that's all for now have a nice time goodbye thank you